We're going to compare the unique Q500 stock props versus the Aeronaut Cam carbon fiber props. The carbon fiber ones obviously right away are more aggressive in their angle of attack. They're uh, stronger and thicker props than the unique ones. They're both black. Um, let's have a look. The unique ones are black plastic and as plastic are they are an insulator. Carbon fiber is a conductor, and that's part of the strength of the carbon fibers within it. It'll give us a sense of how pure carbon fiber product these props are. They're very strong, and they're definitely pure carbon fiber. The unique props are about 25 millimeters wide at the widest part. The carbon fiber ones are 33, about a third more, and over the overall surface, about 20% more active surface is working there. Unique props have the thick cooling vents. Uh, around the center. There's nothing like that on the aeronaut props. They're, the carbon fiber is strong enough that it doesn't need to reinforce them. Is there a weight disadvantage? Well, if you weigh the unique props, they're about 26, 20, sorry, 23 grams each, about 91 grams per uh, set. If we put the slightly heavier and more robust carbon fiber props on there, they weigh in at about 102 grams a set. So there's about a 10 gram penalty for the carbon fiber ones. Compare their sound performance and gusty wind. We'll load up the uh, unique props on the uh, Q500 here and just let it hover. We're about uh, 10 feet away or 3 meters and we're going to put a um, decibel meter on the iPhone here and just let it run and see how it sounds. So we're running around 74 to 76 decibels at this point uh, depending on the wind and the gusts but uh, it's pretty pretty good. The Q500 is a very quiet quad relative to its size and um, very acceptable. It certainly gets quieter as you get further away or the wind is carrying the sound down range. So overall, um, pretty good start for, uh, for a drone. Well, let's load up the uh, carbon fiber props on there and see how those ones sound. Again, uh, same wind, same distance, same hovering position. You can see right away we're now in the 60s, and in fact we're averaging between 67 and 70 decibels, which is about 5 decibels less than the stock props. Very significant actually at this um, distance, and uh, noticeably quieter. So with the flight test, we'll see now is there a performance uh, advantage or disadvantage to the motors running those carbon fiber props. We'll measure the starting battery, and we'll hover for 10 minutes. Both are uh, fully charged batteries for each set of props. It's uh, fairly low wind, and um, the, we'll just let that uh, run there for a while. While we're doing that, let's have a look at those legs. There's a little bit of landing gear vibration with these stock props. It's hard to see here, but there's about two to three mil millimeter buzzing that you see uh, as a vibration. I think the gimbal absorbed most of it, uh, if not all of it. it. Does a very good job on it, but uh, these are very good balance props. I uh, did a and bounce them on Dubo. But you can see just a little bit of shake going on there on the um, on the landing gear from behind. And you see that flat profile of the Unique. It's a very uh, soft and um, not aggressive uh, prop. Very nice for handling. And of course the 4K video speaks for itself. It's a beautiful quality that comes out of it and doesn't show any signs of vibration in there at all. I'm going to hand catch that and bring it down and uh, within a minute of landing it I'm going to uh, look at each motor with a directional digital thermometer. This digital thermometer picks up an area about one square centimeter in size around the motors and I'm going to go around each motor and uh, map a little survey of the temperatures of them. Take a lot of readings here over the next minute or two and see it come down. Then we'll put those uh, carbon fiber props on and do the same thing. We'll do that 10 minute hover. Let's have a look at that vibration. First of all, you see that it's a much more aggressive profile on those props. And the uh, legs are moving around just a little bit less. So hopefully that uh, smoother video uh, will come out of that. The gimbal isn't having to absorb any vibration coming out of the, the body of the uh, Q500 itself. So when I map the motor temperatures after landing, you can see that the unique ones are the high 30s to 40s. And the uh, aeronaut carbon fiber props are 5 to 10 degrees cooler. So in summary, you know, the carbon fiber props are about 10 grams heavier. They have about a 20% greater lifting surface. They're about 5 decibels quieter at 3 meters. They seem to show less vibration. They use about the same amount of power, but the effect of that power on the motor because of the efficiency of the, of the props is that the motors run cooler by about 6 degrees. 
Of course, the unique ones are free with the Q500, but the Aeronaut carbon fibers can be very expensive depending on where you live. So who are these props for? Well, your Q500 will definitely run a little quieter, uh, the motors will be cooler, and there'll be less vibration transmitted to the video. However, you're a little bit heavier. There's no real power advantage. The props are very expensive depending on where you live. And there's a huge injury hazard. If you hand catch incorrectly, those are flying carbon knives that can easily uh, lop your finger off. The Q500 is a great flying platform, and its ease and quiet nature really makes it suitable for aerial photography, not so much the aggressive flying and maneuvers that are more suited to carbon fiber props. Thanks for watching.